up everybody how y'all doing this afternoon I am working on a helmet cake now the last time I did a helmet cake um we ended up finishing the video another day well we ended up finishing the cake another day and not um finishing the video so I've had a lot of people to ask about you know how to finish the helmet cake so tonight we're going to finish the helmet cake well, I'm going to start it, and then I'll actually show you how I wrap it, how we crumb coat it, wrap it, and then, hey, sunshine, and then we wrap it and everything. So I'm going to take my Fitbit off. I'm proud of myself. Today I did 11,000 steps. So let me wash my hands, and let's get started. So I hope everybody is having a good afternoon. Um, ah, gotta take my wedding rings off. Well, I keep them on. That, that should be good. They should be good. So, I'm getting started. So, what we're gonna do is I'm going to hand carve and crumb coat a helmet cake. Okay. Got her hands good and clean. So, it may not, hey, beautiful, it may not be that much commentary because this video has to go on YouTube. So, I just think I gotta keep my ring on. Take them off. Keep Dorsey, will you marry? Oh. <laughs> Guess not, you know. Alright, so let me get myself together here, and we are going to do. Okay, so normally. Hey, baby. Hi, Amboo. So normally I will use. A round um a round cake board but I'm gonna use this cake board um, because I'm gonna need more room and then later on I'll cut around it y'all see Keith he trying to sneak over there that's him opening the refrigerator so for this for so for this we will need a medium size offset spatula offset spatula we'll need a serrated okay come serious We'll need a serrated, the, my small serrated knife, my big serrated knife, and I also use this one. So I have like small, medium, and large with my serrated knife. I also have two small offset spatulas, and I have a small carving knife, and that's going to help me to carve the inside. Um, I've already whipped up my buttercream icing, and I also have a, I have some ganache. So it's a buttercream ganache. Ooh, and it's. See, it's stiff, so that's going to help hold everything together. All right, so what I did for this particular cake was I made 10-inch, I made three 10-inch rounds, and I used my dome to make the top so when it, so it'll, you know, be perfectly rounded off. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm using this, this humongous, um cake board and what I'll probably do is I'll probably cut some of it off so it won't be hanging off so bad because that bothers me so I'm going to take one of my favorite butcher knives and I'm going to just kind of go to see how far out I need for this to be and the reason why I'm cutting this is because it's just too much board but to use one of the smaller boards I didn't have enough and I'm going to end up around it anyway so this is pretty much big enough all right so I kind of freestyled it so here we go so see if it fits then that's that's a good fit all right so what I'm gonna do now okay so I'm gonna start this off pretty much like I start off every other every other cake gonna put a little icing on the board so you put the icing on the board and then that allows for the cake to stick to the board that's kind of like your glue and it's a and it's just a, this is just a plain icing buttercream you know with butter and powdered sugar and all that good stuff okay so I'm gonna level this but it's not gonna really matter if I level it or not um, because it's going the way I'm gonna stack it so I'm gonna pull this to the side, push all this over, I'm gonna bring this over so you guys can see. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the top off of it. And I use my medium-sized offset spatula, I mean uh, my medium-sized serrated knife. 
And so on my counter, I have already lined it with clear wrap. Can you see the clear wrap that's on there? So yeah, I have it lined already with clear wrap. So that way, I can just put the extra on the plastic, okay? So now, good old moist, look at that, good old moist homemade cake. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do, now, on a normal basis, I would use my regular buttercream to put in the middle, but since this is a since this is a helmet cake and there and I need for it to be sturdy, I'm going to put in between, I'm going to put some of my ganache icing also. And then that's going to help it to be sturdier. Now with this one, the, the sad part about it is I'm going to waste a, quite a bit of cake trying to get it cut down, but the cake that's going to be um, taken off, I can use it for cake pops. So that's the that's you know that's the that's the ups and the downs. So yeah. So we're gonna put this in between this layer. And this is since my client ordered a white chocolate cake, I'm using a white chocolate ganache. So that is um I think I used what size bag? The eleven I used the bigger I use five ounces of heavy whipping and the the large bag of chocolate to make my to make my white chocolate ganache. So hey everybody. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the top off of the second layer. Now, like I said, this one it it matters, but then it doesn't matter. Um, if it's even or not, because this is not going to be a stack cake, this is going to be a football helmet cake. So let's go ahead and get this, get the stacking done. Now, it looks like to me that this is going to be tall enough, but once I put my dome on it, let me take my paper. So once I put my dome on it, see, that's not tall enough. So, good thing I made another layer. Take all of it. Okay, so good thing I made another layer to go in the middle. So, I'm going to take another hunk of my white chocolate ganache. Put it in the middle. Ah. Alright. So, I'm going to even that out. And I have my other buttercream out because I have another cake that I need to... Now see, now with this, honestly, you don't even have to go all the way out to the edges because remember, this is going to be cut and shaped into a football helmet. So we just going to kind of go and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of extra of my regular buttercream on there. Give it a little intenseness in the middle. Okay, so I don't really know which way I'm going to... Hey, Erica! I don't really know which way I'm going to cut this from. So, I'm just going to make sure that I have it out far enough from whichever way I cut it from. Alright, so let's take the top off of this one. And like I said, the tops... You know, the, my grandkids, they love the, um, they love cake pops. And I just keep it to make them little treats, you know. Um, it's, it's good cake. It's just the tops of the cake, see. And I take, and I take the tops. You know, you, if you have like an order for cake pops and it's the same flavor, you know, hey, you can use that. Or, you know, if you're, if you're one of those people who have like grandkids or, or kids or whatever, then, you know, save it for them. All right, so here we go. So this is three 10-inch rounds. We have it stacked pretty high. So let's see what's going to happen now when we add our top. Look at there. So now that is actually high enough for us to be able to actually start carving out our football helmet. Now, what's your dome? Your dome is going to have to be... Um, you're going to have to do your dome the same way you would do a regular cake. 
So we're going to shave the bottom off of it. Kind of even it out. Put all this over here. Okay, now, good and moist. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut it in layers. And I'm going to add... Do you need a taste test? <laughs> hey, Kelly. <laughs> Come on over here and get yourself, dear Erica. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slice it in a couple of pieces here. Like I did like four. So now that's one, two, three. Look at that. You see, that's what homemade cake looks like. You see the consistency, the texture of that? So now I have the bottom. And I think I want to go ahead and maybe cut one more time here. All right. So now there we go. So we have four layers. Okay. I'm going to take this little piece off because we're going to, I'm going to do something with that. Okay. So now, as I was saying, this is your dome. So the dome after I put my ah, after I put my icing on it, it is going to go back in the cake. Okay. So let's take a little bit here. So I'm gonna make that because I need that to be a little bit thicker. So we're gonna kind of plug that here. There we go now all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my buttercream in the middle of it i want to lick the front <laughs> you so silly okay kelly <laughs> all right so this is i'm gonna go ahead and work this dome out for you okay do, 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 do. Okay, let's see here. So I'm trying. I'm gonna try to get it even, just like I, just like I got, just like I took it off. I'm gonna try to put it back on there even, so I can make sure that my dome is good and even. So let's go ahead and. So what I'm doing now is I'm just there's some little corners here that's kind of. You know, acting contrary with me. So I'm going to add on a little extra cake in those corners. And on this side, where it kind of came apart, it, I'm going to add a little cake right here. Now, that doesn't really matter as much. Hey, Vasi. He's upstairs. You need to come get him so he can spend the night with you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and let's add this on there and we're going to add some more buttercream now as I said as I stated for those who are just coming in this is going to be the top of the helmet the dome part of the helmet now I'm going to tell you something you got to be very 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 careful when I say you got to be careful you have to be very careful because my cakes are very moist which means they can tear up so easy. Yes. So we don't want that to happen. So that's why I try to whip my buttercream as long as I can. So it'll be a little bit. It, it, it'll, it won't, it'll be a little friendly. Now. Oh my God. I'm excited now. Do you put the buttercream just to add extra? Yes, I do. That is what I do that for. To give extra flavor. I just can't see myself making a huge big old hunk of cake. Alright, so you see that? The consistency? Homemade cake. That's old people recipe. Well, I ain't gonna say old people, but yeah, it's all recipe. <laughs> Alrighty. So I am now adding some more buttercream in between these layers. And so Hope asked, do I add do I add the buttercream to add extra flavoring to the cake? And the answer to that is yes. I know some people just, you know, do a big hunk of cake, but me, uh-uh. I want to make sure that, that you get flavor in every piece of cake. And thank you, Erica. I use real butter, and I use 
whole milk. So all of that makes a difference when you're baking. You know, letting your eggs be room temperature, your milk room temperature. I'm not saying leave them out all night. Just if you're going to bake that afternoon, take them out that morning, you know. And room temperature is always better. Okay, so let me rinse my hands off. All right. So I'm rinsing my hands off. Hold on just a second. All right, so now. So now the dome is done. And this is what it looks like. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it over. Everything looks nice, moist, ready to whirl. Okay, so I'm going to sit this here. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm still getting icing on my hands, so I have to be very, very careful. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to move this over to the side. Come back to get it. So now here's the other part of the cake. Hey, Dre. Here's the other part of the cake. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put buttercream up here. Now, I'm not going to use my other, the other buttercream that I was telling you about. I'm using my, uh, my ganache buttercream. And so the ganache buttercream, as I told you at first, it helps to hold the cake together better. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to put this on the very top. Now, what I have to do at this point, I have to figure out what's a better you know, section for my cake to sit on. Do I want it in the middle? Do I want it through the edge? How do I want it to be able to cut my to cut my helmet out? Now, here comes my prayer. Lord bless my eyes to see vision, my hands to create something beautiful, and my heart to love what I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Before I get ready to cut, create, and all of that, I have to say my prayer, y'all. But... Andre, you know I'm not going to play with you, right? You know that, right? <laughs> okay, so. All right, y'all. So this, also, this video is going to go on my YouTube channel, which is cakeslingers.dopecakes. All right. So now, I'm going to take just a wee bit more off the top of here. So now that I have this, that, now I have to make sure pretty much that this is pretty precise. Because I'm going to tell you something. If I get it in the wrong spot, I'm going to be mad at myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure where do I want this to sit. And right here, kind of via the middle, looks good to me. Okay, so now, what I did was, do you make... Yes, uh, lasagna. I actually have a pillow cake coming up this weekend. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on it on Friday. I'll do the tutorial for the pillow cake on Friday. All right, so here we go. So now it's up to me to figure out. Um, it's up to me to figure out which side I want to cut, make the front, the back, the side, the side. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to go all the way around. This is the front. Why did I choose that to be the front? So you see there's more of a slope going this way. So that way, that'll help me. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. There are a lot of people, rinsing my hands again. There are a lot of people who won't do these because, number one, they're tedious. And when I say tedious, I mean that in, in the most horrible way. They're very, very tedious. Uh, but you know, hey... Each to his own, each to his own in his craft, his or her craft. So I'm going to move this and we're going to start carving. I want that cake you made for the fire department. Oh, hush your mouth. You driving to Texas to get it, I told you. Start, no, don't start, no starting there won't be there. All right, so here we go. So now I have to figure... Where, what am I going to start doing? So the best thing to do when you're doing a helmet cake is to figure where you're going to start and how big your helmet is going to be. So the front base of the helmet will start here because I want this to be my front. This is where we're going to start. Okay, so what I did was I put two little cuts in here. Alright, so I'm going to take my little tiny 
steak knife and I'm gonna cut that part out now look at that isn't that pretty so there we go here we go we're starting y'all so now I'm gonna have to to figure how deep I want this how how deep I want it now look at there boy see one of y'all need to be over here to get that so let's wipe this off all right so now comes the part that 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 everybody kind of shuns on and that is to carve okay so what i kind of do is i start going around and i use my centerpiece <laughs> i'm on the way i use my center helmet part and I'm and I'm also kind of going down as I do it, even cutting. You see how I'm starting to shape this? Right now, it looks like Megatron. Look at there, it looks like a Megatron. <laughs> so if anybody order, orders a transformer, they order Megatron. I think I can make it hands down. <laughs> All right. So here we go. And for this recipe, this is a white chocolate cake. I go, I use an old school recipe. <laughs> I use an old school recipe because it, I, I need a sturdier cake for this. So I go back to using, you know, the King Arthur flour, the real butter. Um, and I also put a little Swan Lake uh, cake flour in it, like I said, to make it more sturdier. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of taking form already. So I think I'm going to have to ask Keith. Hey, baby. <laughs> I was just fixed. I just called your name. So I think um, I'm going to have to. So Keith, I really need your opinion, babe, on this. Um, Y'all see Keith? Everybody say hey to Keith because he's watching. He's watching from upstairs. Um. So how we're going to shape this out because there are a couple of ways that we can we can shape it out. Um thing. Yeah, I had to vice it because it's just more sturdy. It's more sturdier, man. I just I don't know, trying to use that other that other cake mix, it just kind of worked my nerves. So now let's let, let's try. Okay, so now we're forming this helmet. You see here? Hey, Key, bring that back. <laughs> now he's trying to go to sleep, so no, we're gonna leave him upstairs. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So let's form this out. We settle in. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. All right. So here you as here you can see the cutting. So it's starting to take form. So what I'm gonna do now. So I'm going to take my little knife and I'm going to go to the inside here again and I'm going to try to cut out some, uh, okay baby, I'm going to try to cut out some of this to, to try to sculpt it a little bit better in the middle. So here we go. Okay y'all, I'm trying to, I'm concentrating here so. If the commentary gets lost in the conversation, then guess what? I'm sorry, but yeah. Oh, is his tablet down here? Keith, is your tablet down here? Because I really need it. All right. Well, so I may not need his tablet because I think I, I think I kind of got it carved up enough to where I can do what I need to do. Okay. All right. No, it's okay. All right, people. Oof. 
So I think I'm going to have to shave this down some. I may need you then, Key. So, so while you're cutting, you just do a little bit at a time. It makes it easy. Yes, you can't, you can't just shape it. Girl, if you did that, you would totally totally screw the whole design of this cake up you can't just start cutting and cutting and cutting you have to you have to visualize what the helmet looks like you know figure out a strategy and a plan to like smooth out these edges and you know make this thing look make it make it look as real as possible and sometimes honestly that is a hard job so yes girl yes so that's why I'm kind of carving down. And then, you know, I see where I'm at. Then I go back. So I'm taking this and getting the excess cake off. So I had some, I had a bunch of people on YouTube because obviously people have started this video and didn't finish. So I'm going to have to start this video and I'm going to have to actually finish it. And today it won't I won't finish it today, but you know, I'll finish it, you know, when I crumb coat it and stuff tonight. And when we decorate it on Friday, I'm gonna do another video to show you guys how to decorate this particular cake. So because I've I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, how to do this. Now I have my little I have my little uh paper towel here with my water on it. And that's just kind of cleaning up my little area here. Even when I crumb coat it, and, and the purpose of crumb coating is to, to get all the crumbs in, you know, and hold them together and hold everything together, I still can't stand a whole lot of mess. It's just me. All right, so now I'm going to look at it. And, hmm, I don't like the shape of this cake. So I'm going to have to come down a little bit more with it. Because really, I really, really need, I need to go get his get Keith's tablet. Because I need to be able to look at a helmet. Um, I don't know if he wants me to make elongated, how he wants me to, to do this part. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and come off the top. All right, so here now, so now I'm coming off the top, and I'm gonna try to even this with the front. So you see, sometimes that happens, but that's fine too. Sometimes it 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 kind of takes off a little bit more, but when it does that, that's fine because then I just I just cut it back some more. So let's come around here with the helmet. Okay, so now this is what I had to do. So I had to come around, round it off, and Keith will probably come down here in a little bit and tell me, you know, how he wants me to shape it. If he wants me to change the shape um, to make it, you know, a little bit. Do you have to layer crumb coat to make it sit and set up? It's all on. Do you have to layer cut and crumb coat? Um, yeah, all of this is done in one day. I mean, and it and uh it takes as long honestly as it takes it, it's not it's not really a, a time frame to do it but i always like i let mine sit overnight like i'm crumb coating it now i, I like to let it sit kind of overnight that way it'll hold together better you can't some people can crumb coat and stuff in one day like on the like on like on a lot of the shows and stuff but realistically that's just not that's not a realistic goal to do custom cakes in a day. Okay. So. But yeah. Normally uh, 24 hours. Crumb coated. Let it sit. So I kind of need my partner in crime down here. My, my, my PIC. My partner in cake. Okay. So. Like I said, I used the recipe that I used with this one was an older recipe. And let's see here. Ooh, 
All right, so that worked a little bit better for me. So what I'm going to do to help me out, I'm going to take my off, my small offset spatula. And I'm going to take a little bit of, oh, shucks, that didn't work. So what I'm doing now is I'm making the inside part of my helmet. And that, that is normally the side, the part that I hate trying to do is carving from the inside. See here? So I'm trying to carve from the inside and get this inside straight. But guess what? The inside don't really have to be all that straight. Because it's going to have uh, fun. It's going to be decorated anyway. So. You coming? To, oh, okay. Come on. You need, I need you down here anyway, uh, Mr. Dorsey. I need you down because I need you to come help me shape this cake. I need you to come uh, guide me in shaping this cake. Because right now, it looks like Megatron. Mr. Dorsey, so can you come on down here now, please? Thank you. Please and thank you. All right. So you see the front? And I, on a norm, it normally never takes me this long to carve the inside of one of these doggone cakes. There we go. All right. I'm happy now. I could watch it. <laughs> Thank you, honey. All right. All right, so when Keith comes down, he can go on, I can go on, he can get me on his phone so we can, we can finish carving this, so we can finish carving this. Because right now, I ain't really feeling this helmet. I'm not really feeling how it's shaped, but if he kind of comes and guides me, then I can kind of work it out a little bit better. Cause see, I think that I think that I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to dome this out a little bit better to not make it, you know, like a flat box. Eve, no cutting on that, no cutting on that one side in the front. What do you mean, baby girl, Miss Eve? Keep saying. Yeah, I'm going to cut it down. I just got to wait until Keith gets down here to tell me, to show me what he, how he wants me to shape it because this is going to be his cake. So I'm going to cut it down. I just need to, I just have to wait on him to kind of show me how we're shaping it. All right. So right here, you see this crease right here? I'm going to take me some, I'm going to take me some ganache and I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to cut it now. This will probably, I'm sure this will be cut down some more. But for now, I just need to plug it up. So, let me, let me, let me see. It's going to, you know, it's going to be a Dallas Cowboy. That's all everybody's ordering. <laughs> Key. So I got Mr. Dorsey coming down so he can help me. Um, he can help me shape this cake. Okay, so I need to know which way to go, where, where to go from here. This is not supposed to be like that, is it? Mm -hmm. That's right. It's supposed, yeah. Am I got? I gotta cut that back some. What part? This sticking out part. Leave a leave a piece at the bottom because it's supposed well, it, it's rounded at the bottom. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, see the problem with this is if I wasn't, I was evening it out. Okay. Mm. Okay. You see how flat that is right there? This, this part right here needs to be I just have to kind of you know, dome it out. I mean, not yeah, kind of make it, shape it out like a football head. Okay, so to show me what I need to do. See, that's kind of Megatron-ish right there. If you can show me what you're talking about, I can 
I can work it out. She can Jack say hi. Tell him hi. <laughs> Yeah, my great niece is here. <laughs> she just came. To, she's up there with my daughter, Kelly. My baby is sleep. Okay. Let me see. We ain't doing the new one, I don't guess. It's the same with me. Okay. Yeah, he sleep. Uh, he sleep, Michelle. We. I just. I just met my. Uh, I just met my great niece for the first time. Yeah, see, that's supposed to be cut back. Just this part. I'll leave that part at the bottom. Okay. Right. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. It's how high? Right. Swoop around. Like that? Mm hmm. He's about to have that piece right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so y'all see what he showed, what he told me to do? So that's going to pretty much give it that, that helmet thing. Okay, so right here, we're going to do the same thing. Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can take all that out of there. Okay. You can push that back along with this. Okay. Okay, so in this right here, you said take that back. Take that little piece right there back. Yeah, well, back. how about push we just back. push that back? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That can be pushed back. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll just take this little piece here back. Take that off of there. But the rest of it, we can push it back with the finder. Okay, now as far as the shape of it all. <laughs> I keep stealing cake, y'all. That's far the shape look good. The shape look good? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't look even though. Look at that. That do look even to me. Mm. It look like the helmet just turned. Like we got the helmet turned, but it looks this even. So you like the way that's shaped? Mm hmm Oh, okay. I thought you wanted the shape different. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all, so to be let me let me um put a little bit more curvature in here and the 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 master of um the master of 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 the of the helmet cake designs has spoken oh i need to get him oh yeah ha <laughs> yup no that's not kaden that's my great niece honey kaden is asleep we got a my my um i just met my great niece for the first time today and her mommy's upstairs trying to calm her down. My baby knocked out. All right. Uh. Uh-huh. So you saying that, oh, okay, they do look good. So let me just kind of take a little bit off the side right here. I'm just trying to make sure it's it's even. Okay, so what you think? Mm -hmm. So I can chrome coat it. You sure that's how you want it? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna have to be very very careful with this because Sonya, guess what? It looks even. Ah! Look at oh Kavai said it looks evil, sunshine. She know I'm O C D. What honey? She know she know I'm O C uh Kavai said no I'm O C D. No, I'm a uh, I'm a uh, perfectionist. <laughs> so that's the reason why we carve it and crumb coat it and then put the other crumb coat on it. So you like the way that's shaped. Period. You like the way that's shaped. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well I did good then. So it looks like I did good on the first first try. All right. Back got a job working at 18. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Tell her congratulations. All right. So now here we go. Oh, 
Oh, sounds like she's not having a good night. <laughs> tell, tell her mama to rock her or something. They need to be, they need to be more like my sweetheart. He's a good baby. All right, here we go. Yeah, my my little nephew. Well, he ain't little nephew. My uh, nephew, he's twenty. He had his uh, first baby, and they came to see me earlier. But I told him I had to do this video. And the baby's fussy. I think the baby got colic. So. All right. So here we go. So we're doing our crumb coating. Now, this is the part that can make or break your design. When you're doing the crumb coating, especially on the open sections where the cake, you know, is not the cooked part of the cake. Like when I say the cooked part, it means like the outer layer, which is something, which is a lot of times a little bit more, um, uh, not harder, but I guess a sturdier than the inside. The outside of anything is pretty much you know uh pretty much harder pretty much uh easier to work with so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of go down here and then i'm gonna swoop to the inside i'm not gonna put too you know put too much emphasis on that because i don't want to tear it up so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to show you guys okay i'm gonna try to show you guys all right here we go so can you see me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swoop this cake to the inside and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go across here. Now, I'm going to do that as easy as I, as easy as pop, as I uh, can't talk. I'm going to do that as easy as I possibly can. Well, why? Because I don't want to tear my doggone cake up. Hi, San San. I love you, sissy. I don't want to tear my cake up. So I'm going to go to the inside and crumb coat it here. And then I'm going to take that off. Okay, so they're, they're visiting. So, all right. Whew. So that wasn't so bad. That, that, that kind of, that kind of gave me a little, uh, a little time where I had to hold my dog on breath, honey. Okay, so here we go. So look at there. Ooh, ain't that nice? Yes. So now I can go to the inside. And this is going to be hard. So yeah, let's bring that out. But I'm being very, very careful not to tear my cake up. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the inside here. So what I have to do now is to try to get, you know, my, my inside done. And not tear my cake up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this towards me for a few minutes. So and I'll let you guys see what I got going in a few minutes. Now what I did was I put I put the crumb coating to the inside. Now I'm gonna come to the outside. Y'all, this this thing got me leaning against this counter. I'm doing the front back and the side to side, trying to make sure that I do this the correct way. All right, so I'm going to do the other side the same exact way. Okay, so let me go to the outside. And I try to kind of, ugh, look at that. I try to do this as quickly as I possibly can, honey. All right, so now I'm fixing to get on my knees. Let me see. I need that cake on the table. Ah, mama. <laughs> I know. Girl, because Keith and I already came down here and got him a couple of hunks. Okay, so y'all, I'm not going to put too much emphasis right now on this part right here. Because I don't want it to tear up. And once my ganache gets sturdy enough to hold... I'll feel more comfortable going back over it. So right now, while it looks great, I'm going to leave it looking great. Because I can always go back over it once the ganache settles. Okay? So now, 
we have to concentrate on the inside. So I'm going to tell y'all about this inside. We're not going to stress out about this inside. we just going to kind of pile up us a little ganache up in there. We just want to put enough in there to make the fondant stick. So I personally try to make... Oh, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. I believe that my prayers before I do my cakes work. Because I tell y'all what... This is one. This is what they call a humdinger, honey. I normally have so many problems, so many problems putting um the ins making the inside of this thick. But guess what? That's why you pray. <laughs> That's why you pray. You has got to, to hold your hand, honey. All right. So and ta da. So the inside is crumb coated. Now, let's try to smooth this outside some. Now remember, this is just the first crumb coat. Tomorrow you will gash your cake, which that's where we put the um, we put the straws in it to take all the excess air out of it. Put another rope, put another uh royal crumb coat on it, and get ready for Friday because that's when we're gonna decorate it. And I am going to decorate it live. I'm going to show you from beginning to end on live, Facebook live. You know, I hear a lot of people and they say, you go, why do you go live while you're making your cakes? Well, I'll tell you something. I mean, hey, if you want to know how it's done, I don't mind doing tutorials, live videos. It's just what I do. It's what I love to do. It's what God gave me. So I don't I don't mind by sharing um how I, how I do things. Cause one thing about it, if God gave it to you, He gave it to you for a reason. So I don't I don't stress about doing live videos or tutorials or any of that type of stuff. Besides, this is what I love to do. So I'ma tell y'all. Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit. I'm not going to keep messing with it. Okay. So I scraped that off the outside. All right. So tonight, in all honesty, me carving this was really a lot easier tonight. Well, I mean, I'm used to, I'm kind of used to carving things now. Um, a lot, you know, a lot of people use like molds and all that kind of stuff, but I would rather hand carve things. It just makes it better when it's yours. So you see that from the side? Now it has the helmet look. And Mr. Dorsey, this is he. You said this video is going on YouTube as well. You're going to finish this cake. Yeah, I'm going to finish it Friday night. Um, This is just the starting of it because doing custom cakes, a lot of people don't know it's not a one day project, <laughs> you know, so um, it, it won't get finished. This the finished product of this cake. It won't happen to Friday night. This ganache has to set. This cake has to be gassed. This cake has to settle. So when all of that happens, then we can put it on YouTube. All right. So you see, this is hand cut, hand carved. This is the shape that Keith wanted. He liked it like this. So here you go. So this is part one. This will be a Dallas Cowboy football helmet, of course. Um, and we're going. And I, I don't know. Keith is actually going to decorate it. Okay, let me leave this alone while I'm ahead. Keith is actually going to decorate it. I'm going to drape it with fondant. But as far as the decoration, Mr. Dorsey is going to decorate it. All right, you guys. So this is part one to my tutorial. I'm on Facebook Live for my YouTube followers. Um, this is part one, Dallas Cowboy Helmet Cake. I will be doing part two this time, so don't worry. I've been um, hearing a lot of people say, you know, Where's part two from a previous video? Well, I didn't get a chance to post part two, but I will be able to do that. How does the cake keep? Well, 
it's going to go in a container that goes into to the storage area. I have a storage refrigerator for the cakes. This these cakes, after I crumb coat them, they go into a plastic container that's airtight, Kelly, and it holds, it seals in all the moisture so they don't dry out. And with the crumb coat on it, with the moistness of the, because a lot of the, a lot of the way that my cakes are cooked or baked, they don't dry out. So that's a blessing, cause I, I you know, I know a little bit about baking. But yeah, so no, it's not gonna dry out, honey. It, it'll be in an airtight container in in the cake refrigerator. So, here you are, everybody. This is part one. I have to go and store this cake. That's what, And that's what I'm fixing to go do now, Kelly. I'm fixing to get ready to store. Yeah, that's right, my sister. <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying. Saying I need to call you. But, yeah. So, I'm fixing to go store this cake. And there you are. Do, 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 do. And you guys saw this from start to finish. So you know that we did custom cut this out of big cake. It wasn't something that just, um, you know, we didn't go buy it out the store like this. And when I get ready to do the big, you know, when I get ready to do the big finished product, um, this will be sturdy enough for me to um, cut from off this board. I put it on the board that it's going to be delivered on. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, thank you all for tuning in to part one of the Dallas Cowboy Helmet Cake via Facebook Live. We're also going to be on YouTube at cakeslangers.dopecakes. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Please ask your friends and family to subscribe if they're on YouTube. Please share our videos. And remember, we now have our website up and running, definitelydorsey.com. If you want to order cakes, please, please order your cakes through the website. Um, I take inboxes, but I would prefer everyone order through the website. It's up and running. Definitely Dorsey.com. Um, and I would rather, instead of getting inboxes, I would rather... Hey, Shamaria. Who was that? Hey. <laughs> I would rather you guys either em uh, email me at CakeSlanger, C-A-K-E-S-L-A-N-Z-E. Spell cake slangers. I don't even know. C A K E S L A N G E R Z at gmail.com or go through definitely Dorsey.com for me to be able to get the message. Um, I love you guys. We thank you guys for all your support. Uh, get ready for some new things. I have a big announcement to make. We have some new things that we're doing with Definitely Dorsey. Also, on Fridays, Friday is Cake Day with Bebe is back. We got a call from the big homie. He said, y'all, let's bring, you know, we know you're busy, but let's bring Cake Day back. So, guess what? Cake Day is back. Bebe, the ambassador, K104. And um, we love you guys. So, if you need me, um, you can reach me. Through cakeslangers dot at gmail dot com or definitely dot com and you, you guys got my number it's on the website and it's on my Facebook page so thank you again from Arlington Texas if you need a cake for your wedding your birthday party catering we're personal chefs if you guys are looking for somebody to come in and cook you an amazing meal for your family we're looking for some amazing clients so. Let us come serve you. Thank you, guys. I love you all. I have to clean up cake right now. Keith said he's going to come eat these. He will. Love you, guys.